and another large language model that we can try. So the other day it was Llama 3 and now we've got Fi 3 from Microsoft. So the announcement talks about how this model is a lot smaller um, and the intent is to have it run on a mobile phone, which is really exciting. But in today's uh, little tutorial video, we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna show you how to install it locally on your machine. Uh, and we're gonna get it up and running and have a bit of a play. So first thing you wanna do is you have, if you haven't already, jump over to olama.com. Um, once you're there, uh, which is this website here, give a click on models. And uh, once you click on models, you'll see Fi 3, uh, which is a, you know, Fi 3 mini. It's a 3.8 billion parameter lightweight, state-of-the-art open model by Microsoft. Give that one a click and then I'm going to go ahead and copy Olama Run Fi 3. Now, I've already downloaded and installed Olama, so give the download button a stall if you haven't already. Give it a click. Um, follow the install instructions. It's next, next, next. Happy days. Once you've installed that, what you want to do is head over to your terminal on your Mac. And if you're on Windows, head over to your command prompt. But I would recommend installing the terminal app from your from the Windows Store, um, it's much better than, than Command Prompt. So I'm in my terminal. I'm in a folder called Llama 3, which is kind of weird because I'm about to play with Fire 3. But I'm going to paste in that command Llama run Fire 3. Hit the enter button on that. First thing that Llama is going to do is going to say, hey, you don't have Fire 3 installed. Let me go ahead and download that. Um, once it's finished downloading, it'll then run. So I'm going to fast forward this bit of the video up and we'll give that one an install. Okay, we're 95% the way there. Um, this is Starlink internet, but we are in Australia, so things are usually a little bit slower down here. So give the, oh, what? Did I just go up and, what? Oh, this sometimes happens actually. So when you see this, um, when you get down to that last sort of 100 megabytes and it starts to jump up, it had like 10 seconds to go and now it's got 11 minutes. What I do is I control C and then I run it again and it goes, oh, you've already downloaded 95%. Sure, let me give you that last um, 5%. And if you look now, it's not 11 minutes, it's five, four, three, two, one. there it is. Okay, great, it's pulled the model. Um, now it's going to go ahead and pull some more stuff, give it a moment. Uh, once it's done that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, run it. And we're on, okay. Um, how exciting, whole new model. Uh, first thing I always like to check, uh, who are you? you know, tell me a bit about yourself, who are you, question mark. I'm fine, an AI developed by Microsoft to interact and provide information or assistance. How can I help today? Awesome. Um, I do a lot of data cleaning and one of the projects I've been working on most recently is um, address cleaning, um, where I get a really messy user inputted address and sometimes I just need to extract little bits out of that address or infer things like postcode, um, which can obviously be done through APIs, but if you've got an AI model that's you know successfully able to do it every time, I'm gonna to go to that first now. So let's just say, uh, what is the postcode for Fitzroy, um, Australia? And I won't give it Victoria as the state. Uh, the Fitzroy area in Melbourne, Victoria, doesn't have a specific postcode as it consists of several streets and suburbs. However, commonly used zip code, postal code, around this area includes 3065 for Brunswick East. Mm, that's a bit weird. Um, what if, yeah, that's actually just kind of wrong. It's, well, 3065 is it right, but it is kind of wrong. Uh, try that again. As previously mentioned, uh, 3065 is not Brunswick East. So that's actually just flat out wrong. I'm going to kill that one and I'm going to say slash buy. And then I'm going to run it again. So straight in. And I'm going to ask, according to Australia Post, what is the correct postcode for suburb Fitzroy in Victoria, Australia. Okay, give it as much information as possible. The correct postcode for suburb of Fitzroy, Victoria, Australia, according to Australia Post is 3065. Please note, it's important to verify with the current postal service database. So there you go. The prompting matters. Um, so that's how you get up and running really quickly with Fire 3. Um, I've actually got Llama 3 also installed on this machine. So I'm wondering if I can just do a, a new, this is gonna be a bit weird. I'm gonna remember which terminal window is which, but I can probably get away with maybe having this top terminal window as Fire 3 and then this one as a Llama run, oops, Llama 3. Um, and just like that, my computer doesn't crash on me because I'm running a MacBook Air. Um, I've now got Fi3 at the top, Alarma at the bottom. And then apparently Fi3 is a little bit better at maths. And we know 
you know, these models are never meant to be any good at math. So let's ask uh, Llama 3, uh, 200 minus 199, uh, one perfect answer. Uh, what is 800 minus nine? 800 minus nine, just getting it right, fantastic. Uh, let's ask the same question of phi three, 200 minus 199. It appears the provided information, 200 minus 199 does not directly correlate with a specific question, okay? Uh, okay, maths. <laughs> what is 200 minus 199, question mark? Subtracting 199 from 200 gives you the result of one mathematically. Okay, that seems correct. And it seems to give me some sort of um, something in brackets. Uh, there is some documentation in the Microsoft sort of write up and some other areas that talk about this being slightly better at math. So maybe they have done some fine tuning or training um, to make it be able to do some numbers stuff. Um, look, short video, get you installed, get you up and running. Uh, I did have the other question as well come through in the comments around, hey, I'm not that into running stuff in the terminal. Is there any other sort of programs I can run this on? Um, and one that keeps coming up on my radar is LM Studio. So let me head over to LM Studio. Um, I'm gonna install that one as well. So I've got options. Um, so when we are creating videos, if it's more for just getting up and running and started playing with a model, potentially LM Studio might be an easy way to do that. Um, if we're looking to connect to the model through Python and it integrated into some of our flows. Um, potentially Olama is a good one as well. But LM Studio looks really nice, um, allows you to run and connect to local models, very similar to Olama. If you're not keen to be mucking around in the terminal, this might be a really quick and easy way to get up and running as well. Hope that was helpful and I'll catch you in the next video.